My name is Mark Gainsborough. I'm the Executive Vice President of Strategy, Portfolio and Alternative Energies for, for Shell. Uh, in the alternative energy space, uh, a lot of my focus is on biofuels, which we see as one of the, the best ways that we can reduce CO2 in transport in the future. The biofuels that we'll produce in Brazil uh, reduce CO2 by about 70% compared with conventional gasoline. So that gives you a sense of how big the impact can be blending more biofuels into the mix. The other thing that's important about bio is that it's, it's one of the things that we can do now in terms of getting CO2 reductions in transport. Some of the other things take much longer to, to deliver. Biofuels is something that's in the mix now. It'll be a bigger part of the mix going forwards. It's an economic opportunity for Shell, and at the same time, it reduces CO2. So it ticks a lot of boxes in terms of sustainable transportation and the role that Shell can play in bringing sustainable transportation in the future. We want to be one of the world's leading biofuels players, both in the manufacturing of biofuels and in the distribution and, and blending of biofuels. We see the Shell Cosan joint venture as a great way of getting to scale in the biofuels business quickly. Uh, up until now, we've only been in the technology development end of biofuels. That's still very important to us, uh, but this venture will really help us scale up advanced biofuels much more quickly than we'd be able to do otherwise. The joint venture gives us access to feedstock, it gives us existing infrastructure for distribution of products, it gives us a lot of the things you would need if you were scaling up an advanced biofuels industry. So it's the platform for a lot of growth opportunities. This deal is, is great for our customers in Brazil. They'll be getting access to the Shell brand on, on a bigger network, one of our largest networks in the, in the world. And also our customers in Brazil already enjoy uh, a lot of uh, ethanol in the uh, fuel that they buy. I've been to Brazil, I, I've seen the whole biofuel process from cutting the, the sugar in the, in the fields through to crushing in the mills and producing the ethanol. It's already the world's most efficient way of producing biofuel, but the really exciting thing is we see ways to make it even more efficient in the future. We can, we can bring Shell's expertise in industrial processes to bear uh, to make the existing biofuel production even more efficient. Uh, we can also use it to produce advanced biofuels from the agricultural wastes which aren't processed uh, at the moment. So, so there's great potential in the future to produce biofuels even more efficiently and with an even bigger CO2 saving. In the long run, I think this is a great deal for our customers around the world. You know, we need to find ways of bringing more sustainable, lower CO2 fuel into, into the market. The challenge is to do it at a cost that's affordable. The great thing about sugarcane ethanol is it is affordable today and it provides a good platform for very cost-effective, low CO2 advanced biofuels in the future.